Record fly trap! Here it is! I am so excited to have a world record, Guinness World Record Venus fly trap right here. Imagine that. Hello, my name is Jeremiah Harris from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and I love carnivorous plants. I have been growing carnivorous plants since I was around five years old. My parents bought me a Venus flytrap from Home Depot when they were remodeling a house, and I just thought it was the most fascinating thing ever. So what makes this alien flytrap super unique is how long the traps are. It has relatively short teeth, um, and they actually um, will produce a very, very high number of small hairs inside the trap. More of a typical Venus flytrap is this three-quarter to one-inch size, uh, has a little bit of pinkish red on the inside, but as you see, it's much, much, much smaller. Venus flytrap is a plant. It naturally photosynthesizes, so gets a lot of its nutrients through the sun. Catching insects for a flytrap is more like us taking a vitamin or a supplement, that it could literally go its entire existence without ever catching an insect, but an insect will help it grow a little bit bigger, a little bit faster, but it's not at all necessary for them to survive. Right here, we have the alien Venus flytrap. A Venus flytrap grows from a rhizome or a bulb, and it will go completely dormant during the winter. As soon as it starts to warm up, it'll emerge from the center of the bulb, which is right here. Um, they do produce flowers, so this was actually a flower stalk that I cut off first thing in the spring because I wanted it to use more energy to produce a record-breaking trap. So the world record-breaking trap is this one right here at 61 millimeters. So a Venus flytrap leaf is actually the trap itself. The teeth are called cilia, which is also the same name for like an eyelash and they prevent the insect from climbing out. When a Venus flytrap first closes, it snaps shut, but then it leaves a little space in between the cilia, so a very, very small insect could actually crawl out because it would not be worth going through the digestion process for just a small insect. When I was a kid, I loved reading the Guinness Book of World Records every single year, and I just dreamed of one day being able to hold a record myself. Little did I know it would be what I'm most passionate about. Venus flytraps and carnivorous plants.